Jack Shack. Well, I'm Happy Jack, and this is my shack. I just got done bringing in more firewood. It's hard to believe. It's the 15th of March, and it'd be cold out there, about 35. And we have about 4.15 in the afternoon. Oh, that's crazy. But it's warm inside the shack. video. I think you're going to like this one. Oh. Uno momento. start getting warmer and hopefully it will pretty soon but until it does I've got a little something else to share with you but I need to pause that refreshes cheers That's what they said over at the dispensary. If you don't cough, you don't get off. Okay, now, um, if you recall, uh, a couple months ago, in fact, it was just uh, January 2nd or 3rd, I posted up a video uh, of Ramblin'. And this is Ramblin' number four, and it was Ramblin' number three, and I had introduced you to the first three members of my firearms family, and that would be the um, Daisy Red Rider, BB, pest, uh, BB rifle, and you know, it's, it's a Christmas gift for kids. But it's a heck of a lot of fun. And then for a prop, you know, to use as my props, I also got the um, Colt Single Action Army, and it's a, um, and it's the Peacemaker. And also I introduce you to the Legends um, Cowboy Rifle, aka Winchester 94. Both, all three of those are .177 caliber pellet. The rifle came as a BB, well, the Daisy is a um, BB rifle. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. But the Winchester, depending on what type of sleeves uh, you can use, either the BB or pellets. And of course, I would shoot pellets in it. 
And, um, but now the Daisy, the Red Rider is Daisy, the Colt and the Winchester are both Umarex. Now I'm going to introduce you to the rest of my firearms family. I got five more. Where? You know me. I get started at something, I go crazy with it, and then after a bit it starts to sink in, hey, you don't need all of that. And I'm already looking for um, maybe culling the herd a little bit, but um, wait till you see what I have. And three of these, well, yeah, three of them are super, super good. Um, Three are 22 caliber, and two of them are um, 177. So let's take a look, shall we? There's four rifles and another pistol. Kinda. You'll see what I mean. Let's move over to the table. The first one I'm going to introduce you to is the biggest one of the batch. This is the Ruger Air Magnum by Umarex. Yes, another Umarex. This one has a scope and uh, it's a brake barrel single shot 22 caliber. And I haven't had it out yet to try it, but you know, it's long, it's big. And, as you can see, I have a hard time with it because it's, you know, it's made for bigger. Oh, but it looks pretty. So, this is, and by the way, it does come with bipod. So, well, it didn't come with the bipod, but I got the bipod. And if anything, this would be one that I would be thinking about um, getting rid of. Because it is big, it's a single shot, brake barrel, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to break this thing and, and do it to it, but just have to wait and see. Who knows? It might work out to be for the best all around. So, let's go for the next one, shall we? Alright, now for the next one, we have, this is, this is a Crossman. And this is the Crossman American Legend. A uh, classic, I'm sorry. American Classic. It's a 22 single shot multi-pump and it is I have had it out and I have given it a try safety oops safety back on and this is Oh, just so much fun. 22 caliber, uses pellets. It has a rifled barrel. And, oh, uh, let me tell you, at, at 10 yards, I drilled a hole in, um, in what is that stuff? Com composite um, panels. 
is, you know, wood chips pressed together into sheets. It went right through. Just the prettiest little round hole you ever did see. Yep, I love it. And like I said before, this thing is like, um, it reminds me of Colonel Douglas Mortimer. Any of you know the, uh, the Man With No Name trilogy? That was in the second one for a few dollars more. Lee Van Cleef? Oh yeah. Except his was just the pistol with the stock that latched on. This one, I had to take the original stock off and put this on, but I love it. This thing is so nice. It's so comfortable. And it takes a while to get used to pumping in because the more pumps you put, the more power it puts out. They do warn you don't go beyond 10. Besides, a guy tested it, he went to 15, and there was nearly no difference in the um, feet per second. And it runs at about 800 feet per second. Out of 22, that's enough to go rabbit hunting. Oh, that's getting me to feel hungry. Okay, now let's look for the next one, which was a real hassle for me to get, so... Oh. Cheers. Mmm. Okay, next! Okay, here you go. This is the Umarex Synergist, capable of firing 10 rounds from one magazine. It's an underlever, but the big problem with this one was I ordered it uh, right about the end of that big storm we had, right when um, uh, Texas had that big storm and they got snowed out and cold, nasty weather and everything was shutting down. And guess where this thing was shipped from? Texas. It went from, um, oh I forget the, um, Irwin, Texas to Fort, um, Fort Worth. And then it went from there, believe it or not, then it went to, um, um, Memphis, Tennessee, and it stayed there for over a week. So I complain. I, I asked the um, seller, you know, what's going on with this? And they said that um, because of the weather, um, they're getting backlogged and everything. But a couple days later, they came back and said they checked with FedEx and it was deemed lost. So you're saying, well, they must have found it because you got it. No, I got a refund and then I went to the local gun store and um, and they had. And I was lucky because I only had one of the 22 caliber and I wanted the 22 caliber. So, and it was cheaper. So let's see what we have here, huh? A cardboard, a cardboard cover. <laughs> How about that? Hey, I like cardboard. Here we go. This is the, um, and this is the the ten round magazine. Hear it? It's already loaded. Yes, I've already snuck in here and taken a look. This is the scope. And this be the rifle. Mm. Oh man, this puppy is heavy. 
Well, they put a lot of stuff in there. Huh. Another gel pack. <laughs> and here's another magazine that is still in the wrapper. Because I only needed to check one. Let's see. All right, and here's the rail for the um, scope, and um, the the magazine slips right in here, but you have to cock it in order to put it in, and um, that makes it nice. And it's an under lever. And then you bring it down. I'm not going to because I don't want to cock the thing. And all you have to do is, is do the under lever and then fire. And it has a numbering system on it so you can see when you get down because you don't want to dry fire. So that is pretty neat. I got to get rid of all the labeling and everything. Why advertise? It has no sights, so you have to have the um, you have to have the scope on it. This will be fun, and once I get the thing, Once I get it all taken care of and go through the manual and everything and get, the, um, get that on, hopefully we're going to get some really nice weather and then I can take these all outside and see just what kind of a cowboy I am. You're yeah, right, sure. Sure we will. So, let me get this put away and come in with the next one. Or maybe two. We'll see. Okay, now another Coleman. Uh, Crossman. I'm sorry, Coleman. Think about going camping, you know? Okay, Crossman. This is the Crossman Pump Master. I don't know about you, but to me that sounds like a porn movie. <laughs> the Pump Master. It's a. Uh, um, Single shot, BB or pellets, and of course, you know, I like doing pellets, but with this one, it has a smooth bore barrel, so, um, and it's up to 700 feet per second. So let's take a look. As you can see from the graphic, it does have a, um, it has um, a scope, but, Darn tape doesn't want to come loose. Did that time. <laughs> Let's see if this one is going to be any worse. Why do they got to use such magnanimous, huge? Oh, I'm sorry. Got to have another pause. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Got to wet my whistle. Okay, and here it is. <laughs> For all that it's worth. You get glasses. You get say everybody needs to have safety glasses. I've got six spares, plus that, and we've got targets. 
You want to go shotgun shooting? As soon as it gets warmer. <laughs> Ain't going out there now. Uh -uh. No. And the instructions, I've already gone through those. Haha. <laughs> yes, I have opened it up already. And there's the scope. That'll be fun and interesting. It's supposed to have the rings already on in there. So I'll just have to read up on it. And here's the pellets. You get 50 pellets. These are 177s. I feel more comfortable this way. And these are pump. Didn't have much in there, didn't. Now they're supposed to, this one doesn't have a, I might use this one just for BBs. And you're supposed to be able to, I think it's down here. You open that up, there's a little hole there and you pour the BBs in. Now when you pour the BBs in, then you don't forget to close it up, otherwise they're just gonna fall out all over the place. You don't want that. And up here, there's an 18 round magazine. So if you push the lever up, you can hold it upside down, shake it around, and the BBs will load up the magazine here, and then you flip that back, and it closes it off. So every time you go back, it puts a BB in there, and then you pop it up, take the safety off, and you fire it. It's that simple. And this is going to be fun. And they also give you a bunch of BBs. Well, I'll put those in my other container because they're easier to pour into the deal here. So that is, that's the Pump Master. <laughs> I ain't going there. Uh -uh. Nope, not going there. And last, but definitely not least, Another Crossman. This is the M4177 kit. And it means kit because it comes with a lot of goodies. But I gotta cut some tape. See if I can do this without cutting my finger off. Excuse me, keep hitting that box. I think I'm too far back. Oh well, too late to change it now, I'm almost done. So, here we have it. And this one brings back a lot of memories because, as you can see, it looks very much like the old M16 that I grew up with. Growing up meaning, after high school, I went into military and I spent, um, Almost a little over eight years in. And then I was put out on a medical, which is fine, you know, 30% disability, permanent disability pay, so why not? Okay, here is the weapon, and here's the extras. Got another pair of glasses. And this little goodie here has a bunch of, um, has um, three of the, um, uh, of the clips and it has a couple clips that go right into the side and it holds five pellets. So, um, and it also has the, um, the, um, 
rear um, sight and the front sight that looks just like with the M16 almost. And this one was weird. It came with BBs, which I don't need, but um, I don't see any pellets in here. Not that I don't have pellets, I mean, yeah, I do. But this is going to be fun. And, you know, I got to put it together. Now let's take a look. Now, basically, this is on the same format as the Pump Master. It has the same um, um, basic chassis. It just, the outside is a little different. And there's supposed to be a, somewhere on here, there's a button or something that makes this withdraw. Oh, there it is, back there. Jeez. Bite me. <laughs> That's nice. Can't wait to get the... Now, like I said, there's a... And this is empty. Two magazines, 200 clips can go in here, and also there's a tool for um, adjusting the, the front and rear sights. And like I said, it's a pump. Safety on. So that's how that works. That's neat. Charging handle, magazine release, <laughs> ejection cover, which, uh, you know. <laughs> now the thing gets me is you've got some, um, some mounts here and here, but they wouldn't do you any good because when you go to pump it up, see, what are you going to do? They're right up against each other. Now you gotta discharge it. There you go. Shouldn't be doing the, um, the dry. Oh, guess what I found? Pellets! Let's fire this puppy up. <laughs> I don't think so. This is going to be fun though. So, let me get this all cleaned up and then I'll see you over on the couch over that way. Later. Bye. Alright, a piece of pizza and uh, another cup of coffee and a few more logs on the fire and I'm back. <coughs> I'll tell you, it is getting cold. We went to about 36. We were supposed to go to 34, but we went to 36. And um, we're now down to 31. And it's supposed to get down close to 20 tonight, so brought in some more wood. And so what what do you think of um my firearms family? Yeah. Well, uh, you know, maybe I am taking it a bit far, but wait till we get outside and start shooting. It's gonna be fun. And I'm saving up all my my soda cans. I don't drink beer. In fact, I haven't had any alcohol in over a year now. But I do put away. Um, there is a beer that I do like, especially with vanilla ice cream. It's called root beer. <laughs> Almost had you, huh? 
All right, so um, with all of that done, and I've got to go and get the stuff put together, get some of the scopes put on and everything, and then um, hopefully, now the, the things that I wanted to talk about, you know, as future deal, all of this, don't get used to it, because next Saturday is the 20th, and if you look at your calendar, and your calendar is for America, that is the spring equinox, and, uh, um, and for the northern hemisphere, and it's also the beginning of spring, and that's when I think I'm going to be shaving. I mean, just like I was before, chrome dome and all, you know, don't have to worry about a certain person going and calling and asking if I have cancer, because um, the cancer got her. Hey Rose, we remember ya. And another thing is, um, just a little more than, um, and about, oh, I don't know, maybe a couple of weeks at the end of the month or the beginning of next month, April 1st, that's the day that, yeah, April Fools, uh-huh, only the fools don't plant their summer garden and they're left without. So come April 1st, that's when I start my flowers. That's when I start my plants, so I'll have to get the, the grow tent set uh, ready and uh, the timer all reset and everything. So until later, until the next time, and who knows, it might be um, on April 1st, so you get to see me planting my seeds. <laughs> so uh, this is Happy Jack. Hoping your journey down life's path is a pleasant one. Later days. Yeah, right. Taco Donate.